Each of you knows the Lancaster bomber. Currently, there are only two airworthy Lanks flying worldwide. Now, possibly, a third one will be added. Welcome everyone, my name is Nick and you're watching the channel of Charlie Hotel Aviation. There may be a third Avro Lancaster flying soon. As you probably know, there are only two airworthy Avro Lancasters in the world. Papa Alpha 474, City of Lincoln, is operated by the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight in the UK. The second one is a Canadian Lancaster, flying with a civil registration, Charlie Gulf Victor Romeo Alpha, bearing the markings of the Royal Canadian Air Force, Kilo Bravo 726, and based in Hamilton, Ontario in Canada. In the 1930s, the British Royal Air Force asked for a heavy twin-engine bomber. After some development work, the first designs were created, and finally the Avro Manchester was introduced to the RAF in 1940. Although 200 Manchesters were built, they were quickly withdrawn from service after two years. The Manchester was underpowered and its Rolls-Royce Vulture engines were considered unreliable. In the summer of 1940, Avro chief engineer Roy Chadwick began to redesign the Manchester. He increased the wing area to accommodate four engines. For this, he chose the familiar Rolls-Royce Merlins. The design proved extremely successful and went down in aviation history as the Avro Lancaster. A total of 7,377 Lancasters were built during the war, about half of which were lost in the war. Avro Lancasters were built under license in Canada and used by many air forces worldwide well into the 1950s. The Lank, as it was known colloquially, became one of the most heavily used night bombers of the Second World War. Only two of the aircraft are still airworthy today. The Canadian Lank flew over to Europe in 2014 and could be seen together with the British Lancaster at many air shows. But now perhaps a third Lancaster will soon make it back to the skies. Lancaster November X-ray 611. Just Jane is currently being restored by the Lincoln Aviation Heritage Centre at former RAF East Kirkby in Lincolnshire. This aircraft was built in April 1945 by Austin Motors at Longbridge near Birmingham and flew with the RAF, but was put into storage after the end of the war. November X-ray 611 was purchased by the French government in 1952 and flew in various operational roles until the mid-1960s. Eventually, Just Jane returned to England. The old aircraft was to be auctioned off, but no buyer was found. So it arrived at RAF Scampton Airfield, where it was displayed in the open air as a gate guard. The brothers Fred and Harold Panton had lost their brother over Germany in World War II when he was shot down in his Lancaster. They eagerly wanted to restore an old bomber in his memory. Eventually they were able to acquire Just Jane and started the painstaking restoration in the early 1980s. Over the past few years ground tours and taxi runs could be booked with the Just Jane whose name, by the way, comes from a well-known British comic figure from the time of the Second World War. With the tour income, the goal of getting the plane back into the air is getting closer. The aircraft has been largely disassembled and now looks like an oversized Revel construction kit. Many parts are being replaced and overhauled. Many volunteers support the project and, of course, specialists of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight are involved. After her complete reassembly, Just Jane will be flying again soon. We will report. Links to this topic can be found below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our new channel. Nick Bradbury reporting for Charlie Hotel Aviation.